Once again, I'm leaving Ireland. going on a road trip with a couple of mates. It looks something like this, but you know, I like to sneak in some Bond locations too. However, I don't think my friends know. San Francisco, famous for a lot, a lot of famous films here too, but most importantly, a view to a kill. Without telling my friends, I had a mission to visit some Bond locations, but not completely hijack this trip either. Also, America is huge, it would be hard to get to everything this time. First things first, when the Irish land in a foreign place, we need a drink. So after a long night on the margaritas and pints, we went to our first touristy thing, The Rock. Not a Bond location, but still a must do in San Francisco. Alcatraz, also known as The Rock, was the prison island in the middle of the San Francisco Bay. The island is famous, and housed many infamous inmates, including Al Capone. But we all know I see the world through one prism, Bond. The 1996 film, The Rock, starring Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery. Welcome to The Rock. And in this film, it's a fan favorite theory that Sean Connery is playing an older James Bond. I'm sure the staff of Alcatraz have heard this quote way too much. I'll do my best. Your best. Losers always whine about their best. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. But I was really taking the piss when I landed on the island. Probably lucky I didn't get put behind bars. And I believe this could be the last great Connery performance. Just love how heroic he is here. His character goes on a real journey. General. Who the hell are you? I'm always left to the enemy. It takes a great leading man for you to see him go from one part and character to really change during what is only two hours and not a lot of screen time for him. If you haven't seen The Rock, I highly recommend it. I actually watched it on the flight over. It's very enjoyable. Flies by. Some aspects may have aged badly. However, it just goes to show the strength of a charismatic leading man. Tree of Liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Thomas Jefferson. Patriotism is the virtue of the vicious, according to Oscar Wilde. <laughs> well, thank you for making my point. Connery plays a highly flawed individual in this picture, but he is also incredibly heroic, a great anti-hero. Go watch The Rock, and if you're in San Francisco, visit Alcatraz too. Try not to be as hungover as I was, though. I think it's time to hit some dry land. After the rock, I suggested an in and out burger to the guys. But they didn't realize I was actually bringing them to a Bond location. Quickly showed up at the area, took a look. Then we went for a burger. After the in and out, we hopped on the tram back to our hotel.
Funny enough, it's actually just next door to where Connery threw someone off in the rock. Finally, true to all stereotypes, we went for dinner and drinks. Ended up meeting some cool people who brought us to this bar. With sore heads and inflamed livers, it was finally time to leave San Francisco. But a couple more things to do first. You know you're in a big city when the city hall looks like this. As we were taking pictures, admiring it, I revealed why we were actually here. A mixture of Moore's performance, John Barry's music, and just the struggle that you don't usually see in Bond movies, this is a real heroic moment. It's almost like it's not part of A View to a Kill. Yeah? I really recommend re-watching this scene in particular. Time to go. After dinner on the first night, my pal Harry recommended this place. It feels like some shots from the climax might have even been shot from here. I think this scene is one of the great climax sequences in a James Bond film. I love it all. Christopher Walken, Roger Moore, battling on top of the Golden Gate Bridge. I couldn't get on the bridge, naturally. But right here is the next best thing. Feels like you're in the movie. It's nice to just chill up here Although bloody windy, you definitely feel part of it all. It's windy up here now, isn't it? <laughs> God, I really like it. It just brings me back to the movie. I love it all. If you haven't seen A View to a Kill, which I assume you have, it's one of those outrageous 1985 Bond movies that just throws the kitchen sink at it. It's great. Christopher Walken, Grace Jones, Roger Moore, he's so old in it. One of the best John Barry scores. And I even love Tanya Roberts and how useless she is in the climax. Another great Bond detour that the lads appreciated. Best not tell them where we're going to next. So time to go. What a view. <laughs> My friend Barry here ruining the shot while I try and look cool.
last place I wanted to go to. Out of San Francisco and in the direction of Oakland is where we head, Stacy Sutton's house. And we arrived. Unfortunately, we met a groundskeeper who worked for the city and he said it wasn't open to the public. Now and then they do events, but at this moment it was closed. We're not getting in. Fuck. Too close to the public. Now we did think of climbing the fence, but being America could easily get shot. He said there's an event on here tomorrow. He was like, oh, you can come to the event. But me, I didn't want to wait. And he was keeping a good eye on us. This being a bond location, oh. I couldn't do nothing. What? I deployed the drone. God, look at this place. Still looks as brilliant as it did in the film. Just from looking at it from my drone, it's disappointing I couldn't get in there and explore the house. I really enjoyed the sequences Bond and Stacy had here in A View to a Kill. That rock salt fight is good fun. What's this loaded with? Rock salt. And now you tell me. The house is really beautiful. Dunsmuir Hellman Historic Estate. A 37 room neoclassical revival mansion on 50 acres. As I always say, you can see exactly why the producers wanted to shoot right here. At the moment, this beautiful house can be rented from the state for your own events, weddings, parties, I think if I'm ever back in San Francisco, I'll have to arrange to get back in here somehow. God, this place is beautiful. And there is something funny and yet satisfying about Roger's last ever scene as James Bond being in the shower here with Stacy. Well, that was a little disappointing, but we got there. After failing to infiltrate Stacy's house, well, to my liking anyway. We went to Carmel by the sea, had a big coffee and breakfast. Carmel is one of these beautiful places. It was founded in 1902, very old fashioned. And I suppose if you were thinking of a classic American town, this is definitely it. Believe it or not, Clint Eastwood used to be the mayor here from 1986 to 88. I'd say there was zero crime in those years. 
Carmel is also known for its unusual laws. High heels, not allowed without a permit. Just one of the funny things. Around 20 years ago, I visited this town. One thing really stuck out to me. The beautiful beach. I remember coming here with my brother and my dad. We were told by some surfer girls as we walked down the sandy hill that apparently Brad Pitt likes to swim here too. It's not a Bond location, but I couldn't turn down a swim for nostalgia purposes. But also realize, are these waters full of sharks? Sit down and reflect on the first leg of the trip. It was nice to get back here take it in. I'm trying to strike a balance between living in the moment but also capturing bond moments for you guys. And between all the action it's nice to sit down. Thanks for watching. This series will obviously be different to the other location videos, but I think there's still a lot of fun in there for you guys. Thanks for watching. Shoot the like button and subscribe. Alan Carroll will return.